Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Night Storm here. Welcome back to Snowbird Containments on Apologies. I've been very busy, um, but I can make a video now. This is going to be a two-parter series. Um, part two is going to take a while, but let's go ahead with part one. So, the event is obviously starting to finish. Um, it's basically in its last weeks. Hopefully, you did all of these events and got as many rewards as you can. Um, this video will be mainly talking about the, the three... Uh, logistics uh, the new logistics set um, as you can see obviously it's for ballistic damage and electrical damage so you want someone that had that shoots bullets and that means shoots a lot of bullets so like you want an assault rifle or submachine gun user that deals electric damage so that they can maximize the utility of the set now this video is actually for people who do not have a uh, five-star Chen Xing uh, for example myself so I have wildly maxed out and I was planning on farming these to get the the right um, passives for it so that it can actually be used on uh, any electrical DPS, uh, preferably one that's submachine gun or assault rifle. And so I already did, I already managed to farm it already and I'm here to just talk to you about that. So the set passives that I went for. Um, for my uh, four star Chen Xing, which I'm going to be using. Next video will be about actually using her with maxed out weapon and logistics to see how she, you know, how she compares to like Yao and um, my uh, life wild hunt. But in any case, the, these are the passes that I went for, for my logistics. So I'll scroll down here just to give you an idea on how many I've bought. So this is, so I've bought um, uh, eight in total. And I chose to settle with this one. So this one gives attack 10%. And shooting crit rate 2.1%. Now, technically speaking, the crit rate 2.1% isn't really that useful as as uh, anything but shotgun users start with zero crit rate. But I feel like having that 2.1% um, is enough to just get like um, you know those lucky crit um, um, lucky critical hits um, for those bullets that don't um, hit the weak spot. So just so there's a chance for it to crit, right? Now, for the middle piece, um, as you can see, I, I farmed a lot of these ones because I kept getting garbage, right? But I settled with this one. Um, the attack percent isn't the la isn't the highest um, isn't the highest roll, but the crit damage amplifier is very high at nine percent. So I just chose with that. Uh, I just need to ensure that I you know hit the weak spot. And then last but not least, again similar case. Um, I didn't farm her as much. I did get another max attack percent roll and crit damage amplifier. So just to, you know, just to preface, I mainly just went for attack percent and then either between crit rate and crit damage, but preferably just one of the rolls into crit rate and the other two into crit damage as this set is going to be used on characters that shoot a lot of bullets, right? Otherwise, you're, gonna, you're not going to get that 45 stacks. Um... If you're someone like a shotgun user because you're gonna have to reload right only for someone that's that's shooting only someone that's shooting um multiple bullets and dealing electrical damage whilst you're reloading which chen xing four star is actually good for but yeah that's pretty much it um this video wasn't meant to be a long video uh, my next video will be after I upgrade these three logistics to max as well as maxing out um, the free to play weapon to max as you can see I already have it at tier 5 I just need to level it up to level 80 but as you can see I am broke on um, digicash but yeah that's pretty much about it stay tuned for my copium chenshing uh, showcase and for neuronics I'm gonna keep her at 4 out of 6 and I'm going to change the Neuronics to Dual on Skill and the other two on Ultimate. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Overall, I feel like these passives are the best all round. However, um, if you do want to go for specific case scenarios, for example, I can probably use one of my spare ones. Like for example, this one is focused on S Energy and U, U, uh, U Recovery Bonus. Um, for example, and then I guess if I want more skill haste, I could go take that one. You know, stuff like that, or even this one, more S energy recovery bonus. Or even this one, right, if I want attack and U energy recovery instead. So, 
it can depend on how you want to build your character, but in my opinion, offensively speaking, going for attack and any of the crit stats is your safest option when it comes to increasing the damage of any future operative that happens to use a submachine gun or a assault rifle that does electrical damage. But yeah, if you got any more questions in terms of um, Stallbreak Containment Zone, uh, the event or the shops uh, in general, do let me know down in the comments uh, below. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.